I'm super jealous of those girls with the like super cozy desks that you see on Instagram. But today I'm getting, well, no, I'm not, but I'm gonna organize my desk. So um, I'm gonna do some cable management, a little bit of cleaning, um, try to figure out uh, a better way to just like situate things. And hopefully it's a little vibey. So you're just gonna watch along. It's probably just gonna be me yapping and moving stuff around. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got a few things to help organize this whole mess. We got a little cable management kit. Uh, unboxing, look at that. It's just a bunch of zip ties and tubes and whatnot. Uh, also, we got a little basket to go underneath the desk. I, that's just gonna clamp to that, my desk and hold some stuff. And we also got a, you can't see what it is, but it is a, a monitor stand to elevate some of the stuff off the desk and hopefully add a little bit of vertical space. Um, so this is what we're working with right now. It's just a big mess of cables back here. So hopefully we can make that look cute. I'm gonna set up my camera somewhere with a wide angle and we'll be back. Okay, so right here, I'm just clearing off everything from my desk just to get, you know, a little baseline going. As you can see, it's it's not cute. It's, it's a bit of a mess, a bit embarrassing to post this online, but you know, like I'm trying to be a content creator, you know? It's funny, so when I bought this TV, I like hired Best Buy to come and put it on my wall. And the guy came and um, immediately broke it. <laughs> it. Just like it just would not turn on anymore. And Best Buy replaced it for free. And the guy was super nice, but it was just funny to me. Um, so I had to go like a week without a TV, which was, you know, hell, because you know, I'm a gamer. A gamer without a TV is like. SpongeBob when he's at Sandy's house without a without water and I was just like TV would be nice okay that was <laughs> that was really stupid anyway yeah the wires are out of control um yeah there's a lot on my desk that I didn't even need um but I've never gone through this before so getting rid of a lot don't tell anyone but I'm listening to Azealia Banks right now I'm sorry I like the song licorice sue me everyone has a problematic fave let me have mine do not come for me for listening to Azealia Banks I know she's problematic she says mean and offensive things. She beefs with everyone. I just like the one song. I, I probably should not have even admitted this in this video. Um, but I'll just be honest. I was listening to Licorice on repeat. And my camera was crooked. And honestly, it's still crooked. But that's okay. So here I'm just putting together that monitor stand from Amazon. Um, it's actually working out pretty well. I was worried it, it was kind of flimsy, which it, it is flimsy, but my TV is pretty light, so it's not a huge deal. If you have a heavy TV, I would not recommend it. Um, oh, also, I'm going to put the links to the stuff I bought in the description in case you want to buy it. So 
they're not affiliate links because I have no audience and no, and I'm not making money from this. But you should send me money. Yeah, just PayPal me. Um, a thousand dollars. Every each person who's watching this, send me one thousand dollars, and I'll put it to a good use. To good use, I'll buy um, a Steam Deck for every person who sends me money. <laughs> I actually did get a Steam Deck recently, and I love it. I highly recommend it. Um, it's great if you don't have um, things to do or a social life, so you can just lay in bed, and you can emulate Pokemon Emerald or play Stardew Valley for the 15th time. It's really fun. Highly recommend it. And I... I, as you know from my last video, am an Arch user. I use Arch, by the way, and the Steam Deck actually runs on Arch Linux. It's a, obviously a modified version of it, but yeah, Steam used, um, or Valve used Arch Linux as the base for the Steam Deck, and then they added all the, the other stuff on top of it. I hope that some of you actually installed Arch. If you didn't, um, I'm giving you uh, 12 minutes to install it. Install it in 12 minutes, or I'm gonna dox you. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Do not, do not do, give me a strike, YouTube. I'm just kidding. I will not dox anyone. But anyway, we got the the monitor stand done. It actually it looks pretty good for how cheap it is, I gotta admit. So, put together my new life. monitor stand. It is admittedly the cheapest one I found on Amazon, but it's just a piece of fake wood. So I think it's gonna get the job done. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my TV. Next, I think I'm going to install the basket underneath and that will hold my uh, surge protector so let's uh, do that okay we're in the home stretch now i am putting all the stuff back on my desk right here i decided to actually wipe down the tempered glass panel and because it's in five times speed you can't see my heart leave my chest when i almost dropped it um, but luckily I did not drop it. That would suck. But yeah, now I'm just, um, putting these sleeve cables over the, I mean, these sleeves over the cables. And I'm getting the little, the little sticky things that, um, clip and hold the cables. So I'm trying to just like route these cables as best I can and make it look a lot less ugly and messy. Also, this part of the video I didn't notice until editing. You can actually see the sun go down because this is filmed over like a half hour. And it's really kind of cute. You can see the trains passing by and like the trees blowing in the wind. I didn't even know any of this was visible. I usually don't even have my blinds or curtains open because the sun is really angry and mean it's really fucked up that we have a giant fireball in the sky and no one is like yo let's do some methods but anyway the giant fireball hurts my eyes so usually i have it closed but it's been cloudy lately so i've decided to leave it completely open and definitely it's great for filming videos because it's pretty and I have a nice view, and the lighting's good. I have this, um, I was using my ring light uh, for some of the shots and then forgot about it, so that's why it's just like sitting there and kind of fucking up the lighting, but that's okay. Um, I'm not good at this, but I will, I will try to get better. I actually am really trying to be somewhat dedicated to YouTube videos. Obviously, I have a real job, so it's not going to be my main prior, 
but we're going to make it one of the one of them yeah now the lighting's really bad I could definitely benefit by moving that ring light using that damn ring light that I bought for YouTube videos but instead I just I'm gonna leave it in the worst position possible nice job So here, do it more cable routing. Oh look, I, I, I finally remembered to move the damn ring light. Smart. And here I am, look at that. Wow. <laughs> that looks a lot better, doesn't it? I really, really love this sonic fishing music. I feel like it just transforms the video. Like, this footage was so boring before, and throw on that sonic fishing music and cozy vlog. Whoever made this song probably didn't even anticipate that it was would be the ultimate vlog music. I, I dead ass might just use it for every video. Let's, let's be real. No, I gotta switch it up. I should, I don't know, I, I'm like, Tempted to use Sonic music for every video, but maybe I'll switch that up too. I've been finding these silly playlists on YouTube. And it's just like silly video game music, very Animal Crossing vibes. And that that music probably would be very great for a vlog. So maybe you'll hear that in my next video. I don't know. Cable management is the least fun part of really any electronics work. Like, they're constantly trying to make AI do all these things for us. Make it cable managed for us. Why can't AI cable manage instead of taking our jobs? Nobody wants to be a cable manager. If you, well, maybe someone does. But if you do, you're a freak. I'm just gonna say it. I'm being completely honest, transparent. I think if you like cable management, you're a freak. And not the good kind. I bet you thought I'd walk that back. I'm not. I'm not walking it back. I think you're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, we're definitely getting to the end of this portion. We're just plugging some other stuff back in. And I said this before, I think, but... I really am happy with how this turned out. This is the best my desk has ever looked by far. I'm very sweaty, but I am done. I think it looks pretty good. I ain't complaining. All right. I did not actually get that great a shot of the before, but <laughs> whatever. Here is the after. So got our PC here, Xbox, speaker, got a stream deck, TV on a brand new monitor stand. We got our keyboard and mouse, other speaker. And then we have our Linux PC here uh, and got a light and if you can see back here, the uh, cable management is not in focus, is a lot better, I would say. Not perfect, but I think it looks a lot better. It's not a gross mess like before. And we got our 
basket underneath there. There's a bit of a mess here, but we'll clean that up. But anyway, thank you for watching. This has been a little different kind of video. I just thought, might as well film it if I'm gonna, gonna do this. And I'm trying to be more consistent. Anyway, thanks for vibing. I am Maddie 316 Like and subscribe. Do it now. You know the drill. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.